Hello friends, Shay here. We're in my craft room. This is not a normal video again. You won't have the welcome at the door. You won't have me sitting on the bench at the bay window. The reason is, um, well, number one, today started out a bad day again. Um, just this whole thing, me trying to figure out my food, stressing me out and everything. And, um, sleeping late and then, um, Elizabeth didn't have to go to work today, so she's still at home. She never did leave, you know. And Albert is now through working outside and after all that, I hadn't been able to get around to make my video yet to just now. So, you know, they're in yonder, so that's why I'm not doing it that way and I'm just going to record back here. I'm not sure if I want to make it a one take. If I make it a one take, it's going to end up being very long, like it always does. And that takes it longer, makes it harder for me to upload. When I can have several short clips, it's easier to do. Um, so if I can pay attention and watch my time, I may um, stop and then re-record another clip showing, doing other things here in my uh, craft room. We'll see. That depends on if I can remember to pay attention to the time and watch it. <laughs> okay, today is, after all of that explanation, see it's done 1 minute 37 seconds now. Um, after all of that explanation, today is Friday, and it is 7.41 p.m. at night time, see? And it's starting to get dark outside. If y'all can see my window, that's his, uh, the carport of course he has it closed in and the lights are off I think. He, I think he left one light on. I'm not sure. Maybe he's going to turn it off. I can tell. Anyway, um, so like I said today, um, I was up late. I'm always up late every night. I don't even know why. I'm trying to just tell y'all to explain that every day. That's just me. It's how I am. I don't know why I have to do that to tell y'all what I'm talking about. But, um, and I hope you can hear me. Number one, I'm talking loud. For the fact that I don't feel good and don't feel like talking a loud voice for yourself. And for the fact that you're right in the bedroom, he's on the phone, on the bed. And, uh, for the fact that the, right here, the utility room, the washer is going, the dryer is going. So, y'all may have a hard time hearing me right now. I don't know. I'm a little bit far away from the camera too, so I don't know. Anyway, y'all can let me know if you heard me or not. And if you didn't, oh well, I'm sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> ah. So anyway, um, let's see. Thank you, Sherry. Concentrate. Okay, so. Being up late last night, I wanted to sleep late this morning, but I got woke up actually before 9 o'clock, I think, or it might have been 9 o'clock, a little after, I can't remember. But uh, that was mostly because I had a phone call, and I had to jump up and get it. Well, Albert gets it, he answers it, but he comes in and wakes me up, and he thinks I can just, boom, oh, happy go lucky, hello, yes, uh -huh. and ooh, that ear. But, it, you know, it's like he can't, it's a sin for him to tell the person, oh, she can't come to the phone right now, can she call you back or whatever, you know. But it was the doctor, the nurse thing, I know, twice today. I had a call from a nurse. This first one was, uh, my results from my blood work came back in again. My thyroid number is up and I can't, they've put me back on thyroid medicine. So there you go. Albert had to go to the drugstore and get that for me. So I'm back on thyroid medicine again. When will it ever end? You know, just when will it ever end? So anyway, but by the time I got off the phone, I was hurting to go to the bathroom, so I had to go to the bathroom. But I did lay back down. I don't think I managed to go right back off to sleep. I did go to sleep later, I think, in the day and take a nap. I can't remember just how it all worked out. But anyway, so the second call I got was from my diet nurse. Uh, and it was, I was woke up from my course. I was kind of, you know how when you 
after you've slept for a while, you actually start waking up, but slowly and gradually, and you're not fully all the way awake, but yet you know you're waking up, and you're turning over, and you're getting ready to, like, get more awake so you can get up and all. At least that's how I am. So anyway, that's where I was at in my sleep when the next call came in from the diet nurse and Albert comes in waking me up. So I was more awake and alert when I got up with that one, even though I was still kind of groggy and sleepy. So I came in here and I got my pamphlet. I explained to her what I was confused on and asked her some questions and she explained it to me. So now I understand that part better. So, what I was doing when they first told me in the office the other day, see it's already five minutes and 53 seconds, um, the nutrition pack, if I use any packs that has this nutritional box on it, I've got to count my carbs. And so, what I'm supposed to do, well, all they told me that day in the office, they pointed out total carbohydrates on this one here for the sample, which is for crackers. 22 grams it says and she told me that I could have anywhere between 22 and 30 grams That's kind of all they told me. They didn't explain every little detail. So I took this to mean That all day long every day everything I eat I look at this chart and if the total carbohydrates is a number between 20 and 30 I can eat that item that if it was lower than 20 or higher than 30, that I could not eat it. So everything, that's what I thought they meant. So everything I was looking at, the number was lower mostly than 20. There was a few I looked at that was higher than 30. So I was thinking, well, I can't have that. And so everything had that. So I was thinking, what the heck can I eat? You know, I can't eat nothing. I was confused on it. Plus, the doctor had told me, glucose, if it says that, don't eat it. It means it's got sugar in it. All you coast words is sugar. Okay? I wasn't finding any of those words, but I was finding the actual word sugar in the ingredients. And I, he didn't even tell me to look in the ingredients. I assumed that's where I was supposed to look for that word at. But today on the phone, the diet nurse said, don't worry about what the doctor said, don't worry about the the glucolo the glucose and all the other coast words and the ingredients. Forget it. I said, okay, I can do that. She said, the total carbohydrates that you look at, she, what, what she's telling me was, every meal I have, I can have at least up to 30 grams of carbohydrates. Lower is better. So it's okay to be lower than 20 and to be in the 20 to 30 range. Do not go any higher than 30. Okay, so what I am supposed to do on every package that has this nutritional box, what I'm supposed to do is look at the serving size. So on this sample for crackers, the serving size is eight crackers. Now for the whole box, well, let me see. It says over here, check the serving size, eight crackers. Is that how much you plan to eat? Okay, the number 28 grams is the weight of the crackers. So that's the weight of the crackers, not the amount of carbohydrates in the serving. But for eight crackers, which is one serving, See, the total carbohydrates, the number they show here for that is 22. That is for the whole box of crackers, is the way I'm understanding it. So, for one serving is eight crackers. That's what I'm supposed to have is the one serving of whatever it is I'm trying to eat. So, what I do is I take that number, since that's for the whole thing, this number's 22, I'm supposed to use the number 15 every time and divide it into that number. Okay, so 22, you divide, it's, it's explaining it down here, divide 15 into 22. It is saying, let me get my vision one and see good. 22 divided by 15 equals 1.5. In parentheses, they've got round to 2. So they always round it up to the higher number. So that means that the eight, the eight crackers 
is two carbohydrate choices. So, uh, I guess that means that the carbohydrates for that eight crackers would be two carbohydrates, and I can have up to 30. That's how I'm, I'm thinking they're, what they're saying. Tammy, if you know anybody else out there that's dealing with this knows, let me know in the comments if I'm right. So, like, I could have that too, so then I keep counting up, but for one meal I'm supposed to have, well, lower is better, but I can't have, have up to 30. So, that's how I'm understanding I'm supposed to do it. Plus, in here, it's telling me I have a list of what the free foods are. I have a list of what the non-starchy vegetables are, which is what I need to eat the most of. I have a list of what the starchy vegetables are and the fruits and the stuff. I understand it a little bit better. The deal now is getting my family to buy the right foods I'm supposed to eat because they fry everything. They do potatoes all the time. They do pasta. All of that sugar. I'm not supposed to have any of that. I need more of the better. And then the deal with the meat, I don't eat a whole lot of meat anyway. My family eats chicken all the time. I'm getting so tired of chicken. And then the fish, and that's the two I can have. I can have chicken and fish. All of them has no carbs in them. All the other meats that I like, the beef, the turkey, the, ro well, roast beef is beef. You know, stuff like that, I hardly ever have. They hardly ever get it and cook it. I'm gonna have to, I don't know, it's still gonna be hard, but at least I understand this now. I just gotta work at getting the foods I need. So anyway, that's where I'm at with that. I mean, it's just kinda been frustrating and stressing me out, but I'll get there. I'll hopefully live anyway so now that I have done that and explained all that uh, all I have done today since it was such a bad day my schedule was to the pot quit going out laptop all I've done is checked email and watched videos no hobby no crafting today being Friday the hobby was scrapbooking of course I'm gonna get to do a little bit of scrapbooking tomorrow Becca's having her crop and I'm in it and I'll do that but we do have somewhere to go tomorrow night if I even feel like going I may decide not to go I don't know they got an auction that the cousin as Elizabeth calls him Albert's cousin Roy check this out y'all my daughter Elizabeth cannot for the life of her say the name Roy simple as I'll get up she can say toy she can say boy. She cannot say Roy. His name is Roy. R-O-Y. Roy. She cannot say it. When she tries to say his name, it comes out Rory. <laughs> which is a name, which is weird though to me, but there are people out there named Rory. But she says Rory instead of Roy. Cannot say it right. So she goes around calling him the cousin. When she talks to her daddy, anything about Roy, she says, the cousin. Like, you know, he's helping her with some things, and she'll say, can you ask the cousin if such and such, you know. She won't say it. <laughs> it's funny. So, anyway, it's him and his wife. Their church is having, like, a silent auction deal tomorrow night, and they've invited us, and Albert and him wants to go. So, I like auctions. I've never heard of a silent one. From the sound of it, it don't sound like it's going to be as fun as the other auctions. I like the other auctions better. Silent means you just write it on a piece of paper and go up there and take it. And nobody, I like when you raise a card, show you a number, you know, and, and do it that way. So I may go, I may not go. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in, how I feel. We shall see. But, uh, so, um, and as late as it is, it's almost 8 o'clock now. I don't know if I will do any... I know I ain't gonna do any scrapbooking. I don't know if I'll do any craft or not, because I still got other emails and videos to watch, you know, and all that, and then, so I may not do anything. Anyway, so that's my day for today, and it's already 1437. I'm gonna stop, excuse me, stop it here, and come back with something else in another little clip that I'll put together. Okay, toodaloo into then. Okay, guys, I'm here again. Oh, sorry, I had to yawn. 
All right. Um, first off, number one, I want to say, hey, mama, I'm here. Hey, are you there? Can you see me? I can't see you. Wish I could see you. Um, hope you're feeling better, and I love you, mama. She fusses at me because I don't speak to her in my videos all the time. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> Okay, so, um, and another thing that I want to do, my Aunt Bill is started, is able to get in and watch some of my videos too, and I think she's kind of caught up with me, and she's, uh, not that she's watched every one of them, but she has figured out how to get to the point, to the part in there where she can at least see my new update videos, the ones I'm doing now each day. So, she was asking me some questions earlier, so I'm going to show some things that she can see and explain them to her so she will know. So, Bill, I'm going to show you my junk journal. Are you ready? This is my junk journal. Okay. Did you see the back of it? It was just a plain notebook. As you can see, there's still some plain notebook papers in it okay and i didn't decorate the back i left it like it was but i decorated the front i've got paper on it i've got borders on the sides to frame it out i got all kind of stickers in there it spells out shay's junk journal and a bunch of other little type stickers and then i put on top of that the mod podge glue that's what i glued them on with okay now I'm going to turn it sideways because I'm thinking you might be able, and then again, maybe not. Right there, see how that's shiny? Uh, that's the Mod Podge, the reason it's shiny like that. Okay, so that's done with Mod Podge. Alright, you see how that looks? I've got clips that has ribbons on the clips. This ribbon right here goes all the way up and down this, the end of it here. Let me get to it, and I'll show you what that part looks like in the middle. This helps hold you, your book together better the thicker it gets as you add stuff to it. But see, I've got the ribbon. You go about halfway of the notebook, and you put the ribbon all the way through, you know, on both sides. And you tie a knot in it. The clips are all in there, clipped on the pages, and I got all those ribbons and stuff on them. This one here is a pipe cleaner. Okay, and then you just, first off, you take your pages and wrinkle them up. That gives them a texture, a wrinkled texture. And then you take scrapbooking paper, and you go in and you glue them on the pages. Okay, and then you can put stuff on them. And then you glue and leave part of it open to make a pocket. I'm sure you can figure out how to do that. So that you can stick papers in there. And then you just, like right here, I've got these pamphlets clipped in here. That's what a junk journal is to save your, like, your vacation pamphlets and stuff. Okay. Uh, here's some more clipped in here like this. She was been seeing videos on junk journals and she wanted me to explain to her exactly what a junk journal was so i'm just showing you some of my pages in the junk journal this one is nowhere near finished it probably ain't even halfway finished you also glue some of your pages together here is this page and then here is this page okay so that is a junk journal i even did this back here and ain't got any pages glued on it yet yet so you just slowly work on it as you go. That's a junk journal, and I wanted you to show you about the Mod Podge on it. Now I'm going to actually show you the bottle of Mod Podge. Bill, this is Mod Podge. And if you will notice, this right here is the glossy Mod Podge. I do not get the matte. I do not like the matte. I like glossy. So there you go. There's that. Okay, I'm going to stop this one. I got some happy mail today. It is from my Aunt Bill. It is the pocket letter she made me. I will be back to open that up and show you all that in a minute. Okay, hello. Back again, everybody. Okay. Real fast like so you don't see the addresses. That's the front of the envelope. 
look at the back of the envelope. Ain't that pretty? Look at there. This is from my Aunt Bill, my Happy Mail. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty envelope. Okay, it's the pocket letter she made me. I done made her one long ago. It was the first pocket letter I made and sent it to her in her favorite colors, orange and green, which now she said she still likes orange and green together, but she is also, after watching all these videos and what everybody can craft and do and make, she's starting to like purple and pink too now. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get this open. See how she did on her pocket letter. <laughs> She says she's kind of embarrassed that she don't think that hers is as good as y'all's is after watching y'all's videos. Hey, I feel the same way. I don't think my crafting stuff is as good as all of y'all's is out there either. But let's see. She said she had it stuffed full and that she actually had to go in there and take some stuff out so that it would fit in the envelope and actually could be... She has a slot she has to stick mail in and if it don't fit something just rattled in there. Did something fall out? I don't see nothing, so I don't know. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh, there's a certain slot. If it will fit through that slot, then she knows that it can be ma mailed with just a regular stamp. If it's too big and will not fit in that slot, she will know that it needs to be weighed. She was worried that we were going to have to pay money on our end though when we got it, but we didn't. My husband checked the mail and he said it was just in the mailbox and he didn't have to pay nothing. Although I don't know why, if I can, there's something he's rattling in that. Did y'all hear that? Try to hide the addresses. I got 42 wrote right there on it. I don't know why. Bill, did you write that there? Probably the post office did. I don't know why though, but anyway. We didn't have to pay nothing. Okay, so here is the pocket letter. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, she's got some loose stuff just laying here. It's not in the pocket. It's just laying here, so I'm going to remove these off. I will show y'all everything. Just calm down. <laughs> calm down. Hold your horses. Okay, so... She did good. Oh my goodness, Bill, did you draw this cat? I guess that's a cat. And you said you couldn't draw. Did you draw that? Let me know. I'll show you in a minute. But anyway. <laughs> I'm looking at it too myself. Hang on. Chill out. <laughs> okay. How did she... You know what? Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. I thought that was loose stuff, and I was wondering, how in the world is that not falling out? I thought she'd made a shaker pocket, and I was going to see, Bill, look at there, you know what to do, you can make a shaker pocket, and I can't. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at the back real quick, y'all, just chill out a minute. Hold your horses, calm down, hang on. <laughs> okay, here's the front, I'm going to show y'all the whole thing first. Because of the strip with the holes, the way you put it in the binder. Here's the front. Okay. I'm going to turn it over and show y'all the back. So here is the back. Okay. Now, to show y'all each one. This first one, it's pink and striped. She's got something, a white piece of paper with some black and gray polka dots on it. That kind of makes it look like a, maybe a half doily or like a collar on something, you know. And she's got here, from me to you. I'm going to hold that up real close. Okay. And then right here beside it, there's a dog. Looks like holding a stop dimming laptop. Looks like not holding, but wearing a pool float floaty. One of the round, and there goes that thing dimming. Lord, how mercy, all these electronics around here are dimming on me. Okay, this says, 
Let's hit the beach. <laughs> That's cool. See the dog in the floaty and she wrote down, let's hit the beach. <laughs> okay. And this over here is some black paper with a yellow heart in it. And it looks like, and I think that's what's in the envelope that's making that little rattling kind of noise. It looks sort of like glitter, but not really. More so like confetti. Little bitty yellowish and green type confettis. Looks like she glued some on the heart, but it looks like she's got some just down loose, loose in the pack, too. Can y'all see that? Okay. Now, the I think that's a cat. That's what it kind of looks like. It's a face of a cat, a, a little cup, and over here she wrote tea time. So, Bill, did you draw that? If you did, or did you trace it with something? Because yeah. that just looks too good to just be drawn. You had to have traced that. You can text me, let me know when you watch this, or call me and tell me, or whatever. Okay. So, this middle one is some more black paper, and she's got some, um, I guess that's like a trim, um, wrapped around it and i guess i'll be able to take that off and use that or is that on there just for decoration i really don't know i haven't took anything out yet but that that's all right where we're at here get over here right here this is what i'm talking about okay then this one has another heart and a square piece on some green paper Pretty, pretty, pretty. Right there. Okay. This one down here has got some pretty birds on it. I love that. Look, she cut that part out of paper where the birds are and put it on there. I like that. And choppers on here, y'all. She's put chopper on here. <laughs> Check this out with a little flower. Ain't that so cool? Look at there. She put my chopper on there. <laughs> okay. Now here's another one with some yellow paper and a purple heart. And it looks like some little light purplish glitter. She may have glued it on there and it's just kind of got some stuck inside the pocket there. But it's cute. See there. Okay, now on the back side, I'm thinking because that looks like a folded up paper, that first one in there in the middle between those papers. I'm thinking that's her letter. If I could get in camera view with it. See, that's a paper. So I'm thinking that's her letter, which I will read off camera, and that's what I will write her back when I make her next pocket letter. But behind that one, okay, just a little tip here, Aunt Bill. No big deal. This is your first one. When you turn it, this is the front side. When you turn it around, she kind of got these upside down. See how the writing right here? It's upside down. You were supposed to fix it where it would be right. She probably, when she was over here, she folded it over like this and did that. But what you need to do is turn it around and put it in so it'll be up and down right like this. Okay, get back in there. But this says, says, I love you April the 1st, 2015. And that's cute with those flowers there too. And the middle one has a little angel on it. Looks like the angel's writing or drawing something. And then this one has some pretty paper in it. And it has the little hearts. The heart metal thing on it. It looks like some of the little glitter pieces too. She probably put some of that little glitter stuff and confetti stuff in all of them. She loves glitter and confetti, y'all. Okay. So then, uh, this one, which is behind this heart, she's got a butterfly. Okay. The bling stuff here, she's got a crown. Alright, the draw of cat that says tea time and with the cup. This is where a flower and a butterfly is. 
But inside that, I have a feeling it's a pack of tea. <laughs> Cause it said tea time. Okay. It is tea. It is Bigelow Wild Blueberry with a K. Is that how you say that? Herbal tea. A mouth-watering combination of sweet wild blueberry and a key flavors. Caffeine-free, all natural. So, my light's dimmed again. So, there's the herbal tea. Okay. Now, let me see if I can get that back down in there. I think I'm putting it in the right one, yeah. Okay, let me just check to see if she's put anything in these other top ones up here before we go on. It feels pretty flat, so probably not, but I just won't. I don't want her fussing at me saying, you didn't take everything out of all the pockets and show it. <laughs> okay, nothing in that one either. Okay, and then let me check these because... Nothing in that one. I want to figure this one out. Y'all give me just a minute. I'm trying to figure it all out here. So I've pulled the whole middle one out. The one with the bling stuff on that side and the crown on that side. It's the two papers. Okay. She must have glued that on there. So it's not for me to use. She glued it on there for looks. Okay. So that's how that is. All right, let me put that back in there. If I can, which side is the, okay. Give me a minute, y'all. Gotta get it in here. All right, so, and then that's the T. Okay, um, cause we're looking at the back side. So behind the birds over here, she's got some more cute little birds with, um, flowers on a round circle and a square. I like the way she's layering her squares and circles and taking turns because this way she's got the square on top of the circle and up here or on this side she had a heart on a square. That's neat, Bill. That's how you do it. That's called scrapbooking right there. <laughs> okay, so then um, let me make sure if anything is in between these or not here as I go and I know that's what's taking the video a long time I couldn't get my fingernail between them to separate them y'all hang on a minute I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna okay I'll get them get upset are y'all ready for me to get upset wait some get upset I couldn't get it nope nothing between papers okay I just wanted to check and make sure I wasn't leaving anything out any, 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 anything out. Okay, now behind Chopper, on the front, Chopper, behind her is Flip Flops. I love Flip Flops. She knows I like Flip Flops and wear Flip Flops all the time. It says, Celebrate Spring. She wrote that on there. Celebrate Spring. Okay, it feels like something's in between those because it feels a little puffy. Let me see if I can get that out and see. Voila! Look at this. Now, Bill made these. Imagine. I don't think I can make them that little. How do you do that? Oh, my Lord. The little yo-yos. And they are so little. I do not think I would be able to make that that little like that but they're cute I love them thank you okay let me put that put chopper back on top of them all right I'm on the front so chopper goes on the front get it back in here right like it go whoa okay so then behind the heart which is the last one on the front she's got a, looks like a little flower pot or it may be upside down. 
you know, if you turned it upside down, it would go for like a lamp, kind of a cute lamp with a lampshade. But if it's like this, it's probably meant to be a flower pot with a flower. Am I right, Bill? Let me know. And a little border at the top. So that is cute. So that is Aunt Bill's pocket letter she made for me. Becca, did you get yours today? I got this one today. I can't wait to see it on your video. And see how she did on yours and what she did. So this is cute. I love it. Thank you, Aunt Bill. Now, what she had inside of the pocket letter after it was folded up with dimming camera, she had some more, um, is that supposed to be considered to be a flower or is it almost another yo-yo to finish it into a yo-yo? Just let me know. Either way, it's pretty material, and I guess that could just be a flower like that. I could put some bling in the middle of it. Okay, and then this is another little flower thing here. Uh, did you make these, Bill? Let me know. I would like to know. And then she had in there, she stuck in there like some... These, Bill, that you gave me are considered die cuts, my dear. She gave me a strip of cute chevron scrapbooking paper. I guess that could be considered a die cut, right? Y'all let me know. I may be wrong. Okay. She said, I know these are die cut. Well, this one's a die cut. Okay, this says laughter. So she gave me that. Ain't that considered a die cut? Y'all let me know if I'm right or wrong. Okay, she gave me some little paper. Like this would be probably the size for a pocket letter and fit inside a pocket letter. This is what it looks like. And this here says date. April the 12th, 2015. I love you forever and always. That's cute. So see, it says that up here. And then, nope, not upside down. You turn it sideways to see that one. And then it's just wide on the back. Okay, and then she's got this. This is cute. She took a cupcake paper, cut it in half, and glued it to a little card that would go, this is the card, that would go in the pocket letter. She glued the top half of it there, bottom half here, and this is actually the middle inside round part, which has a picture on it. She glued that on there. That's cute. I like that. So there you go. That's what she sent me in my pocket letter. I love it, Bill. Thank you. You did good. Let me know if you draw that cat now, because I really want to know. Or if you just traced it on something. You probably traced it, didn't you? It looks too good for you to have drawn that. You told me you couldn't draw. <laughs> okay. So that is that, and that's what I wanted to show y'all, and this is already 18. See, it's going to be long. I can't do short clips. Ah! Alright, until tomorrow, I'm done, I'm gone, toodaloo.